Hello, my beautifully broken people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, noon, or night, whichever one it is for you. I hope you guys are spending time with your loved ones and giving the people you care about, anybody, hell, we all need to care about each other, their roses while they're still here. Flowers, roses, lilies, I don't care. Um, I just wanted to quickly come on because I just literally finished watching the first episode of season eight of the Black Ink Crew, and they sh you know how they show little snippets of what's gonna happen throughout the season. Um, so they were speaking about Kit's mom, uh, and her having cancer, um, and her going back through chemotherapy. And at the end of it, it looked like Kit was crying and there was a funeral. So the first thing I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I, I just, I just started praying for her and hoping that it wasn't her mother. And, you know, like it was, they were trying to spin the narrative or whatever. I don't know how to get my thoughts straight right now, but you know what I'm talking about. Um... <laughs> Unfortunately, I went to Kit's Instagram and her mother did pass away. Um, it looks like her mother passed away between May um, 20th and 24th. I'm not too sure what day it is. Um, it does look like she got to spend time with her on Mother's Day. I don't know. I just started crying. I, I'm not a crier, so... I just bust out crying and I just wanted to come to a video and Kit, I hope Ahaya is covering you like I could not imagine I had a scare like that with my mom. I don't know, maybe that's why it hit me the way it hit me. Um, that's really all I wanted to say and I just want to read what Kit wrote to her. She says, today, having gained an angel. Mommy, you saw me on my journey into this world, and I saw you on your journey out. God was ready for his daughter. I'm sorry, guys. I bust out crying again. Um, okay, let's read it over again. Today, heaven gained an angel. Mommy, you saw me on my journey into this world, and I saw you on your journey out. God was ready for his daughter to come home. You don't have to fight anymore. Don't worry about anything because I'm going to take care of daddy. I know you're no longer suffering and are finally at peace. You gave daddy and I the greatest joy and we will forever cherish your memory. I love you always and miss you terribly already. Until we meet again. My love says RIP mommy. And then she says, on behalf of family, I want to say thank you to everyone for their love and support during this difficult time. My father and I really appreciate it. So, again, um, I don't know. I'm not a crier. <laughs> and um, I don't know. That just hit me. So, I just wanted to say, Kit, there's, like, there's nothing I can say. You get what I'm saying? Like, I can't tell her it's going to be okay or... You know, just just keep her memory alive. That's all I can say. Um, and rest in paradise to her mother. Again, you guys, please give your loved ones their roses while they're here. Like, cancer is a bitch. Fuck cancer. Um, I lost a lot of family members to cancer and... One family member, she didn't even tell us that she had cancer, so it's my aunt. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Rest in paradise. And, um, Kit, I hope I is covering you. And, well, I know he's covering you. And, um, I send my blessings. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.